Hello everyone, we thought I'd do a little short vlog here for y'all. How's everybody doing? It's a raining. It's a rainy, rainy day, but hey, we need the rain. Uh, the grass will grow and makes everything better. So, Big Bear family, how are you? Uh, Brandon, uh, Brandon, <laughs> uh, Brandon from Florida, how are you doing? I enjoyed playing the game with you last night. Uh, anyway. We're going down here. I just got to get a gallon of milk, so I'll take y'all in there with me. Then we'll go back out. But uh, hello, Sean Hussey. Hello to all my other great, great subscribers. Let me turn this music off. I might get a, I might get a copyright. <laughs> my baby it didn't even hear it. So, you know how it is, though. You never know what you're going to get. Never know. That's like life is like a box of chocolates, you know. But it's only a minute long so far. I don't think they'll get it for a copyright for what little bit I just did. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to take you in the store with me. And then we'll get this done. Get my, get my seatbelt off. Get everything out of here. Okay. The door closed back on me, of course. Of course, of course. All right. So, I got my wallet. Yes. Gotta have your wallet. Got my keys. That's a good thing about this vehicle right here. You don't have to worry about uh, leaving your or locking your keys in the vehicle because um, you got the lock on the key ring and you just push it when you get out. I don't ever lock the door manually. Uh, I know exactly where this is, so we're going right over here and getting the milk. But I love all my subscribers. Thank you all for subscribing and being part of the Tennessee Nate family. I really love you all. All right, here it is. 2%, let's see, regular. Do they have any regular? Hmm, regular milk. Yeah. What the world, they got it all X'd. What does that mean? Whole milk. Let's see, what's the dates on these? Why wow, they got an X on them? Do y'all know? <laughs> oh, here they are. Here's more. They don't have X's, so they must be expiring pretty soon. That's probably what it is. Twelve one. All right, that's good. Twelve one. All right, guys. We'll go up here and pay for this, and then then we'll be done. That's all we really needed. Gotta have milk for the coffee. I love my coffee. Not very busy tonight either. People don't want to get out when it's raining. It's over on the top left. Bottom shelf all the way to the left. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, now down there. Oh, the tubes are down there now. Hello, how are you doing? Alright, how are you? Doing pretty good. You want your milk in a bag? Uh, no. This all for you? Yeah. 438. Uh, 438, here's a twin. Thank you. You too, you're welcome. You want your receipt? Yes, please. Have a good day. You too, thank you. You're welcome. Well, everybody <laughs> turned everybody upside down. Sorry, guys. Anyway, we had to put the phone down to get to the uh, receipt. Now I gotta open the doors. 
there. Boy, that car is, uh, gotta get the key, keys. That, that car is slick where I waxed it. There we go, guys. We're gonna put it in the back door. It's hard to do when you're trying to hold something. There we go. I got the keys in my hand and everything. All right, there we go. That's in there. All right, get back in the car. Get back in the car. Anyway, I wanted to bring y'all in with me. There we go, my door shut, but it didn't shut all the way, so gotta reshut it. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, thought I'd take you along, take you along for the ride. And we'll put all that right there and we'll get it when we get home. But that was just a quick trip out. We get to do about a eight minute, nine minute up vlog to say hello. I like to say hello to everyone every every day. So if I can, I'll do it. <laughs> but I love all my people, um, all my people who watch, and I like to keep you updated what's going on. So that's about it today. We didn't do much of anything today because it's been raining and all. So we just been sat at home, watch TV. I heard about this New York City man, homeless man, man. He uh, he stabbed and killed three people for nothing. Just 51 year old man. I don't know what nationality he was. He he didn't sound like he was from here, but I don't know where he's from. I don't know if he's an illegal or what. But it was up there in New York. He's probably an illegal. But like I said, he just went along. He stabbed one 36 year old man while he was fishing. And then he stabbed another woman, a 36-year-old woman, just walking. Stabbed her, killed her, and then he stabbed another man. I think he was 60-some uh, years old. I'm not sure how old he was. I've got to look it up. But he was working on a construction site, and he walked up to him, and before he could have the time to react or do anything, he stabbed and killed him. And then I think he stabbed one more person, but they didn't die. But my gosh, what? is wrong with these people what makes these people do this stuff just to want to hurt or kill somebody for no reason especially somebody you've never dealt with or had any kind of qualms with I can't get my mind wrapped around doing something that evil to somebody for nothing you know it's the world we live in today people the world is getting evil and uh, they say Joe Biden he's getting ready to try to start World War 3 it's like he's going to burn the place down as he gets out, you know. As the man leaves the village, he's going to burn it down. They said he's trying to start World War III before Trump gets in there. And I think the reason of that is, is because if you start World War III, then a, a sitting president in wartime cannot be removed from office. That's what I think the plan is. He's trying to start World War III before Trump can take office. So what he'll do is he'll declare martial law and you can't uh, remove a sitting president during a time of war. So then Obama could be dictator for years and years to come because you can't remove him when he starts this war. That's exactly what I believe is uh, happening right now, fellas. Uh, Joe Biden was smiling real big and grinning from ear to ear when he said he's going to have a peaceful transfer of power. I don't believe that. I don't believe he ever plans on letting go of power. I think that Obama's going to be the dictator forever. It's, it's not looking good, fella, because you've got the sitting president right now, the one that was installed in office, and you've got him saying that he wants to start war, basically. I mean, that's awful, everybody. Just pray for this country. Pray for peace. We're in a bad state right now. Everybody is worried about if the war is going to break out now. Because Joe Biden, what he did was he told Ukraine that they've got permission to use their long-range missiles now. And they're going to start uh, bombing... Ukraine is going to start bombing Russia with those missiles. That's enough to worry about. I knew Joe Biden wasn't going to go peacefully. I knew he was going to make it to where it's going to be bad, people. 
I, I told everybody when Joe Biden took office, I said, uh, this man's going to destroy the world and the country. And it's looking like he is uh, into doing just that with this. Uh, he could have done this two years ago, you know, told them that they go ahead and use them missiles. He could have done that. But he's waited until now so that he can have the war, make sure the war is going. You know what I mean? And once you've got the war going, then you can declare martial law on uh, us people. That's sad, man. It's really sad. I gotta hold on to everything. I gotta get the, oh man, the door's locked. The door locked in the back, that's right, because I drove. Unlock the door. That locked it. Unlock, there we go. I had to get the back door open. All right, everybody. All right, I got that out. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'm gonna see you later. Y'all be good. And I'll see you on the next video, okay, guys? Y'all be good. I love you. I love y'all. Y'all my, my youngins. Bye-bye.